Buenos dias, Gunners Collective TV. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking smack addict. Bye up, bye up. And I wanted to get to something a little bit serious today, man. Um, you see the thumbnail, so you already know what it is. But before we get into it, man, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Put your notification bell on all. So that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content that I am picking, man. And I highly appreciate everybody. Now, um, I see something popped up on my feed last night, man. And, uh, you know, two individuals, you know, podcasters on YouTube going at it. What's new, right? Beef. Beef, homie. I was always told it ain't beef till you could slice it, you know? But, you know, in a situation where two individuals are not seeing eye to eye, um, they start to slander each other or come at each other any type of way, you know, it's, it's again, man, a bad look for the gente. But, you know, it's going to happen. Not every man sees eye to eye with the next man. Not every man, uh, a man agrees. You know, you could, you could agree to disagree, homie, and keep pushing. But in this case, you know, both of them have you know, valid points, I guess, in their argument. So last night I'm watching YouTube, man, kicking back on the couch, doing my thing. And uh, some young cat from Texas pops up. And, uh, you know, I like to support channels of the Raza, man, from all over every state, you know. And definitely, man, shout out respects to the state of Texas. You know, you got some real ones coming out of Texas. Uh, their wiggle is, is definitely something I'm accustomed to. I've always thought the wiggle of Texas, man, is very similar to Northern California. You know, Norteños. And Mexicanos out of Texas, Tejanos, definitely move and grew in kind of the same fashion. It's always been like that. So anyways, I'm peeping out this young cat's uh, get down, cool little channel. And uh, he dropped some breaking news, right? And he was uh, uh, tripping because nobody else had really spoke on the situation. And I wasn't even going to speak on it. Um, but I felt it was time because I've been asked this question a lot of times. And we're going to get to it. So, um I guess there's some beef going on between Gil, American Cholo, and uh, the wizard, Tony A. from uh, Rotom Radio. Now, you know, one thing I can say is I respect these gentlemen on their podcast and what they're doing, man. You know, I've had my back and forth with Gil in the past, um, and I've let it go. You know, he's let it go. I've let it go. We've moved on. You know, different levels, different things. Um, we're just doing what we do. You know, there's no reason to go back and forth. Um, and, and to continue beef when there really wasn't any in the beginning. It was just two fucking individuals uh, not really caring for each other. And that's it. You know, uh, life goes on. You know, but I've always uh, respected these guys. Regardless if I talk shit or regardless if they talk shit, I've always respected these gentlemen and their hustle. You know, uh, 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 the way that they go get it, their podcasts, you know, the, the influence that they're bringing to the raza, the doors they're opening for the gente. You know, but about three years ago, when I first started this YouTube shit, um, there was something that was going on. And it was going on prior to me jumping into the YouTube scene. And that was a Chicano documentary, right? That was uh, supposed to be directed and supposed to be put out there by Tony A. the Wizard. You know, and I guess, you know, what people are tripping on or what American Cholo was tripping on is the fact, and he put it out there the other day, is the fact that you know, this individual uh, made a GoFundMe, you know, to raise funds for this uh, Chicano documentary, which was supposed to have all the different Chicano artists. And, and, you know, he was supposed to do major things. You know, he has a lot of influence, you know, being a Chicano man from way, way back in the days. Um, he's got uh, his foot in the door of the music industry. So he's worked with a lot of artists. So people automatically assume, oh, man, he's going to put together something spectacular, something smooth, something for the people, you know, the Chicano people. Um, and that'd be great, man. That'd be something to, to really look at and say, hey, man, this guy achieved that level. He really did that, man. He brought us a Chicano rap documentary um, and showed the influence that Chicano rap has on our people. But um, a certain amount of money was raised. I think it was about 20000 you know, allegedly that was raised. And it's three years later and we're still waiting. OK, so the Chicano documentary never happened yet. Now, a lot of people have asked, you know, they're concerned. They're concerned where their money went. They've asked Tony A, hey, homie, what's going on? I've seen several of his podcasts where he has diverted the questions to, hey, if you didn't send no feria, why are you worried about it, homie? If you didn't participate and put money on the books, homie, why are you worried about what sopas I buy? Um, I understand that. I understand that concern. But at the same time, you know, if you're putting something out there for the people and you received funds from the people, then you definitely have to answer questions from the people. That's facts. Now, I've never had anything against Tony A, and I still don't. I respect that man to the fullest. I met him one time, 
You know, it was over a cold bowl of soup that didn't taste good. But definitely, man, he was a very respectful person. I have nothing bad to say about that guy. You know, he came into the Cholo Trucker fight as a guest. You know, he, he represented his flag. He represented his gente. He came with respect, homie. He got respect. There was no uh, 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 agitation there. There was no bullshit. You know, we flicked it up. We met. We shook Vaisa's hands. Um, and he definitely went his way. I went mine. We didn't have a conversation other than Kuvul. Nice to meet you, sir. And that was that, man. It was hospitality all the way around for him. And he came with, with a level of, you know, assurance that there was respect. And it was given, man. We didn't play that north-south. We didn't play that active, non-active. We didn't play any of that. There was no room for that, man. It was something that was being held, an event that was held for the people, man. You know, um, something that did take place, something that was put out there and absolutely took place. So anyways, getting back to this Chicano documentary, there's been a lot of people that have asked me, hey, why don't you speak on it? Because the fact is, I don't know the ins and outs of what's going on. For all I know, this man might have recorded this. For all I know, this man may have uh, uh, plans in the future to do this. You know, it's a it's a very elaborate thing to put something together this extensive, this big. You know, it just doesn't happen. Now, three years, not so long time, eh? You know, he's had plenty of time to figure it out, I'm sure. And people are concerned. Well, one of the people that's been concerned um, is American Cholo. You know, I seen a clip that was put out there where he uh, he definitely had some ill ill words towards Tony A., you know, saying, hey, homie, basically, what's going on? Answer some questions. You know, the Raza is asking, homie, you know, you should answer. You should have the answers. If you receive the money, if, if you were able to, you know, get into that account and, and go ahead and spend that, what was it spent on? Was it spent on cameras? Was it spent on, you know, getting these people to do a video? Um, you know, what is it? And I guess Tony A didn't take too kindly to being questioned, you know, so he reverted back to, having some derogatory words uh, for American Cholo, to which he stated, you know, a fucking, you know, uh, he started to bring up that old WAC 100 bullshit, you know, WAC 100 going to his pad and, you know, why didn't you open the door? Why didn't you represent for the hand thing? This, this, and that. Look, man, first of all, that was a faulty situation all the way around and not on Gil's part. You know, this Vato went to his fucking family's door, homie. You know, try thinking that this is all fun and games, thinking that this is bullshit. And of course, man, you know, what do you expect this man to do rather than to step back? He, he's, he's not going to tell on himself, okay? He's already in a situation where everybody knows this. Vato put it out on the internet, doxed him, fucking went to his pad, banging on the door. He wasn't there. He was at work. You know, he wasn't at the Chante. Um, about the same time, I dropped my bullshit on him. A lot of shit was going on. So I can understand that this Vato didn't forget, homie. You could forgive, but never forget. You know, and so, so what? The door wasn't answered. So what? He didn't go out there, man. He has a family to worry about. He has people to take care of, man. You know, sometimes this internet shit, yes, definitely can get real. And a lot of the things you say, you have to stand by. You know, a lot of these things that if you're going back and forth with someone and they decide to pull up, homie, yes. You know, the, the gangster in us all says, yeah, you should open that door. Yeah, you should have went out there, presented yourself and handled your business. But the wise man once saith, man, avoid the bullshit. Avoid the noise, homie. Dominoes. Avoid it because... At the end of the day, you have to be a bigger man and understand that there's more people depending on you than just this internet bullshit. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people behind the scenes that are going to woof, leave comments, say a lot of things. Hey, homie, you should have did this and you should have did that. And unless they're put in that situation and there's someone knocking at their door, homes, they can never tell you what they're going to do. Facts. So anyways, this is the ammo that, that Tony A is using against Gil. And of course, Gil is questioning the Chicano rap documentary. My thing is... If there's nothing wrong with the Chicano rap documentary, if it's all kosher, homie, dill pickle, if it's all good in the hood, then why does Tony get upset? You know, that's what I've always questioned. Like I said, man, I have, I'm not trying to woof on this ball or throw him under the, under the bus. I, I have some questions, some concerns, legitimate concerns. If you're cool, homie, and you're smooth, why does something like that irk you? Why, when you're questioned on your podcast or on a live, um, you know, you immediately take a defensive stance. See, I've always learned in the game, homie, when you're quick to take a defensive stance and, and start to defend yourself before the question is halfway even a asked, then you really have no answer. You know, we're not idiots here. Nobody's dumb. Everyone understands the hustle. Everyone understands that sometimes in the beginning, you know, you might have the right intentions. Sometimes people are like, you know what? I got a plan, homie. I'm going to put together a little something, something. 
for the masses, for the people, but I can't do it on my own. So they asked for a little feria from the gente. And the gente, man, we've always been known as Mexican people to give what we got. We don't have much. Not all of us. Some do, some don't. Oh, he's got all the money, right? Where he at? He's in Lambos at 2 in the morning smoking frajos, driving on bridges. But some, I guess he's not Mexican, is it? He ain't Mexican, is it? But some people do have um, enough to give a little bit. And some people that don't even have much gave. So anyways, the money was there. Now, if you guys recall about three years ago, two years ago, um, there was a situation where Night Out, rest in peace, you know, the rapper, him, royalty, a couple other rappers, um, actually took to the, to the, um, to Instagram, actually took to YouTube to voice their opinion on this situation. Whereas they were saying, they were throwing out there that Tony A was bamboozling the gente. He was trick. There was a lot of trickery going on behind the scenes. He basically was keeping the feria that was raised. Now I'm going to keep it real. I sent not a fucking penny, homie. I haven't sent no money. The reason I didn't send money is I wasn't aware of this situation, you know, prior to it happening. I probably would have, you know, uh, back then I didn't know what Rod Rodham Radio was or even who Tony A. the Wizard was. And I still don't know him. Like I said, I've shook his hand one time, spoke to him on a high buy basis and, and that's it. But I do support his channel, man. I do support the talent. I do support, you know, when he brings real ones on there, you know, and that's just what it is. You know, now as far as the back and forth between these guys, you can understand when there's two podcasts that got the people's attention, there's always going to be a fight for the view. There's always going to be a fight to be uh, established as that one. When you got two individuals, man, um, that have that display narcissistic, narcissist behavior, you know what I mean? Being like, I'm that one, primera, homie, number one in this shit. You know, you hear a lot of these podcasters, especially the Raza, always proclaiming they're the king of the mountain, they're the top. You know, everybody is the king of their own kingdom, homie. You're the king of your household. That's about it. None of us, not one of us, not one of us podcasters, uh, uh, content creators on YouTube, ain't nobody running shit but what you got going on and your mouth. That's it. Now, as far as this beef, will it escalate it to something physical or something more? Absolutely not. I don't take these two individuals as that type, you know. I think that they could uh, uh, come together with a phone call, a conversation behind the scenes and kill that noise. Now, as far as Gil asking questions, I didn't really see him disrespect Tony A, man, other than saying, hey, homie. What the fuck is going on? You know, inquiring minds want to know. You know, inquiring minds want to know. It's, it's, and he put, uh, you know, he, he spoke on, you know, if I wanted to do a turkey drive and, and I asked the hente for two thou wow and they sent it to me, homie, and then there was no turkeys out there. Hente they're going to be like, hey, where's the gobble gobble? You know, where's that at? Um, so he's only asking, he only asked a question that a lot of other people, you know, have been asking. They've even asked me, have you heard about it? What's going on? And to tell you the truth, man, it wasn't none of my business. I really don't know what happened to the feria or if that's even going to get done. I trust Tony A enough to know as a representative of the Raza on YouTube um, and for the people on the streets in his area homes, he's definitely going to put something together. Again, you don't get defensive. You don't start fucking answering questions with questions unless something ain't right. If something's wrong, homie, the antennas start to circle and it gets all bad. Now, there's been a lot of people um, that have fell off from Tony A's podcast or Gil's podcast for one reason or another because they think that these guys like to instigate trouble or like to cause drama, man. I'm here to tell you first and foremost, it may look that way from the outside looking in, but you need to understand that Gil is one of those per persons that is willing to ask the hard questions. There has to be that man. I don't support every move that Balto makes, man. You know, he don't even like me, but I keep it fucking G and I keep it real. When I say he asks the questions, the hard questions that a lot of people don't want to ask. See, there's a lot of people that would talk that shit, homes that would throw a quick little 30 second short out there talking some high power shit. But then when someone questions them on something, they don't have no answers. They have a whole lot of this, but not a lot of this, right? What I, what I appreciate with uh, the American Cholo podcast is that he's willing to ask the hard questions that some of us, all of us want answers for, but no one's willing to fucking speak on. As far as Tony A, he's pretty blunt, man. He puts shit out there. It just seems like when it comes to this one situation about the Chicano rap documentary, it's a fucking, it's an urban legend now. It's almost to the point now, it's, it's going on four years. It's almost to the point now where, hey, homie, if it's not going to happen, then just let the people know this is the reason why it's not going to happen. If it is going to happen then let the people know exactly when and where, you know, because there's been a lot of real credible uh, of authors, you know, uh, not instigating homie, but questioning the ability of this man to, to perform, to produce, you know, the Raza, we don't have a lot of feria. So when people sit back homes and they give a little bit, 
you know, and, and, and you decide to to do some trickery, man, and play the gente, you know, and at the same time, talk about your representative or, or, you know, it's all this and all that for the people. Um, that's, that's, that's foolish. That's, that's bullshit. You know, now I understand if someone shoots you a donation, a super chat or whatever, just on GPA, help me here, go buy a pistol. You know, you don't got to show the beer, you know, that's of course, you know, they're giving out of their own free will. But when you ask for feria, when you ask the gente to produce something to help you, you know, um, and then you don't produce, you know, there, there, there's a bad situation there. So this beef, where will it go? You know, I don't think it's going to go far, man. I don't even think it's a real life beef like the one between Ghostface and, of course, Bozo Homes where it's already gotten to the streets. I don't think it's that or I don't think, you know, people are going to fucking slander each other further than this. Because at the end of the day, there's really nothing more you can say on these two dudes other than, you know, sometimes they have behavioral issues. Sometimes, you know, they don't get along with other people. Um, but we all know that. And we all still tune in because we want to see the drama. We want to see what's going to happen next. As far as Tony A, man, I want to express again, this is not to slander him or throw him under the bus. This is just to simply ask a question that the people have been asking me to ask. And that is, what happened with the Chicano documentary, homie? Why didn't it ever, didn't it ever happen? I understand it's a lot of work, eh? It is a lot of work. You know, and, and it takes feria to do things, but 20 thawas should be, should have been more than enough to at least get the party started, eh? You could have got some cakes, a couple of chicks dancing on poles and shit, and, and fucking, there you go. Get one fucking uh, Chicano rapper right there, busting a move. Um, there's plenty of, I'm sure there was plenty of Chicano rappers um, that had, you know, from the old school man that would be willing to participate in something like this, you know, uh, for little cost or no cost at all, just to put... You know, to give the hint is something to breathe on, just to give the hint is something to say, hey, they did that. Um, anyways, you know, as far as this beef and this bullshit going on, um, I don't think it's going to get much further, Hente. You know, the only reason I'm speaking on the situation is because people have asked me to. Other than that, I wouldn't even give a fuck to tell you the truth. You know, whether this documentary ever comes to, to fruition or it doesn't, you know, I'm going to be honest, my opinion I don't see nothing anytime soon. And it's not that Tony A is a liar or that he manipulated or he burnt everyone. Um, it just shit happens. I'll let you figure it out, right? As far as, uh, you know, the, the whole situation with, with WAC 100, be, WAC 100's whole little fucking situation being used to go at Gil, man, calling him a coward, uh, uh, calling him a punk and, and things of that nature. You know, unless you were there, homie, and you know the situation firsthand, what was going on behind the scenes, and then you shouldn't speak on it, man. You shouldn't call a man a coward or a sucker, man. Um, you know, you should deal with, Whatever issues you have, Holmes, uh, on a phone call or face-to-face, or -face, rather than throwing it out there to the masses, you know, disrespecting them, saying that an Africano brother went to his door. Man, that's, that's causing more division. You got to understand, uh, when it comes to black and brown, and, and, and I'm all about the black and brown unity, but I understand in Southern California, there are a lot of times that black and brown don't see eye to eye, man. And this was one of them times. This was one of them situations. And when you're basically uh, uh, defending the, the, act, the acting of WAC 100, Holmes, you're basically defending that, saying, hey, Holmes, like he was a G for doing that, but you were a coward for not defending it when you don't even really know the true story, man. That, that That's not right. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. There it is, man. The big conspiracy. You know, the X-Files, Holmes. Um, you know, is this rap documentary ever going to get done? I'm sure the Vato, um in due time. Maybe in five years. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, that's on Tony A. Respects, homes, but at the same time, fuck it. It's been a long, it's been a long time. He shouldn't have left you without your Chicano documentary to step two, to step two. What's the step two? What's the step two? <laughs> with that being said, hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. And remember, at the end of the day, people are going to ask questions. Homes, it's up to you to answer. You know what it is, man. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle, struggle for mine, man. If someone asks me something, I'm going to tell them, hey, whether I like it or I don't. Hey, God, are you a piece of shit? Fuck. That's what half of Northern California thinks. <laughs> bang, bang, man. Gonna gang.